In a world where one word has the power to change everything, from the greatest speeches in history to the thoughts that inspire groundbreaking innovations, the power of language has never been so strong. Throughout history, language and specific words have been used to inspire, influence, and even to marginalize people's thoughts and actions. In this series, we take you on a journey through some of the most influential people, most innovative ideas, and life-changing events. This is a world of words. In this episode, we take a look at Yvonne O'War's Weight of Whispers. Today, we are inspired by Yvonne Adiambo O'War's short story, Weight of Whispers. The story also won the Kane Prize for African Writing in 2003. Yvonne O'War later went on to win Woman of the Year in 2004 and the Jomo Kenyatta Prize for Literature in 2015. Weight of Whispers tells the story of a Rwandan family that flees the country just as the 1994 genocide breaks out. It is told from the perspective of Boniface Kuseremane, also known as Bonbon. Bonbon and his family were considered Rwandan royalty before the genocide. Unprepared for the impact the genocide would have on their lavish lifestyle, the family flees to Kenya and checks into a five-star hotel. They believed it would only be a pit stop on their way to Europe. Relying on their money and their status in society, Bonbon bon and his family settle into the hotel in Nairobi. However, their trip doesn't go according to plan. With their money quickly running out, the family is forced to sneak out of the Hilton Hotel they were staying at without paying. They searched for cheaper accommodation. With things beginning to fall apart, Bonbon bon turns to his friends and acquaintances for help. However, he and his family soon realize that they are on their own. They realize that their family name no longer holds the weight that it used to, and that the people they thought would carry them through this turbulent time are no longer there for them. With no friends in sight, Bonbon bon is burdened with having to take care of his family even as their situation continues to worsen. Eventually, Bonbon's fiancé Lune and his sister Chichi are forced to prostitute themselves in the hopes of getting papers to seek asylum in Canada. Chichi ends up tragically dying from childbirth while Bonbon's mom, Angethe Mama, dies of a stroke just one day before they were set to move to Canada. His fiancée leaves for Canada, thinking that Bonbon bon would soon join her. In the end, Bonbon bon resigns himself to the fact that his exile in Kenya will be his new life and second start, because he cannot bear to leave his dead family behind. Weight of Whispers has important messages. The first is the impact that crises or revolutions can have on people. His family had to suddenly pack up their lives and flee with only $3,700 to their name. The family thought they would only be in Kenya for three weeks before they could catch a flight to Europe and resume their lives normally. It was not to be. This happens to many people all over the world. Their lives suddenly become uprooted and many are forced to flee their homes, not knowing whether or not they will be able to return. This book highlights how a family, whether coming from royalty or not, can suddenly find themselves with nothing as a consequence of social disruption. Another important message in the book is that of man's cruelty to man. After witnessing the evil of human beings, Bonbon bon says in the book, there is a necessity of oblation or sacrifice of men by men to men. 
This quote can be taken as both a confession of his own actions back home in Rwanda or an observation of how he was treated. From the Jewish Holocaust to African American slavery, evil is often normalized and made to appear acceptable in certain situations. Finally, Bonbon bon learns the need for compassion for others in all situations. This story teaches us that there are different colonial experiences, but treating others well is the objective of humanity. The book gives the example of when Bonbon bon is at a bar in Nairobi. He meets a man that he had helped out with money in the past. When in trouble, Bonbon bon seeks out this man's help asking for some money to see him through his stay in Kenya. However, Bonbon bon finds out that the man quickly left the bar, leaving Bonbon bon hanging. Unfortunately, the lesson is that without money and title, people stop treating you the same way that they used to. In conclusion, we leave you with a quote from the book about humiliation of begging from others. In exile, we lower our heads so that we do not see in the mirror of another's eyes what we suspect that our precarious existence rests entirely on the whim of another's tolerance of our presence. How terrible when we must rely on others for survival.